Good evening, and this is Thai PBS World Daily. A number of schools and universities in Bangkok and its suburbs were closed today due to heavy flooding in many areas of the capital following heavy rain overnight. Many bus commuters were left stranded late last night due to a shortage of public transport, including buses and taxis, which were stuck in gridlocked traffic due to the flooding. Suspended Prime Minister Prayut c h a n o c h a has insisted that his eight-year term in office did not expire on August 24th because it should be counted from when the 2017 Constitution came into force on April 6 t h of that year. In what is believed to be his written statement to the Constitutional Court, which was late today, he claims that his first term under the interim 2014 Constitution expired along with the replacement of the interim charter. by the 2017 Constitution. Former Deputy Prime Minister s o m k i t a t u s i p i t a k has been appointed chairman of the Sang Anakot Thai Party. Dr. s o m k i t will also join the meeting tomorrow, which will be a general assembly of the party's executive committee and about 300 potential candidates from across the country to prepare for the next general election. Thailand's Central Administrative Court issued a ruling today ordering the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration and its investment arm k r o n g t e p t h a n a k o m to pay Bangkok Mass Transit System Public Company a total of 11.8 billion baht for the first and second extensions to the Green Line within 180 days. A representative of k r o n g t e p t h a n a k o m said that the company will appeal against the court's ruling. The State Railway of Thailand has launched a A trial run of used train carriages donated by Japan and refurbished by the SRT on the Bangkok t a t t o n s a o route before full operation is expected to begin at the end of this year. And that's all the top stories for today. You can follow us on social media and our website, ThaiPBSWorld.com, for all the latest updates about Thailand.